What's up, guys? Got the old man with me today. Slow old man. Are we ever at home? I feel like I'm always in oh, town. I'm gonna go doing something. That's the name of the game when you're building and doing stuff. But you're a uh, you're injured, aren't you, from a, a fall that happened? Uh, I'll give I'm it a rest. Not really injured. It's just his ribs are hurting. Where I had fallen that time and hit my ribs against that board, it may have fractured it. I don't know, because it's still kind of tender. We didn't get that on video, did we? When yeah. you fell? No. Nah. I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. If it's fractured, just let it heal. Yeah. So there looks like a state trooper up there. Speed limit's 45. You want me to go past it, going 70, and see if they pull me over? <laughs> Guaranteed. Ready? Here we go. Kidding, guys. Exhibition of acceleration. I, bro, I was going like two miles an hour. Uh, I haven't hit tires. 40. She's spending tires with those controls. It was wet outside, officer. I didn't know what I was doing. I was scared. My dad told me to rush. Oh, it's a sheriff thing. I knew nothing. They're just sitting there for decoration. They're probably not even in there. Yeah, they're in no, there. That's the supervisor, I think. But, yeah, uh, it rained again this morning a little bit. Uh, everything's just. It's like a sponge on the property all around the tent is just soaked uh, i let the dogs out first thing this morning and then five minutes later it started raining so i got them all back in and well, we certainly can use the rain yeah about, i'd say probably close to two inches a little over two inches it feels like more and i said it earlier when i was talking to you i said living in the tent when it's raining just makes it feel like it's so much more than what it is i guess but it, it could be more up there comes that sheriff maybe he uh heard me talking shit that would be hilarious although I'm pretty confident it says 44 45 pretty confident they wouldn't pull me over never know never know I ain't doing nothing wrong but here he comes this other truck that was going in front of him was speeding a little more but yeah he must be running this truck because he slowed down behind us. Yeah, the truck was speeding and then goes behind me. And now that sheriff is just going super slow. We'll see which one it is. Maybe it's right. Maybe it's wrong. Maybe he's just running my plates now. <laughs> he's sitting right here. I ain't doing nothing wrong. See which one? No, I don't know that one. That one had a uh, little goatee. Yeah, I don't know that. One. That's a canine unit, I think. It says Laura on the back. Unless that's his wife's name or his mistress. I don't know. I don't know. I don't Typically, think when there's names on the side, it's for a dog. But I don't see any canine on it mm -hmm. on the side. He's probably gonna turn right here. He don't have his crews on. No, I got my 45 going in a 45. He's probably gonna turn one. Sprinkling again. Yeah. Like I said, I want to get stuff done, and we were actually just talking about the uh, the house build. We had initially talked about putting up the OSB on the walls first. Now we're talking about getting plywood and uh, doing the roof first. Just go ahead and roof it, and just uh, it may be easier for us to roof it without the walls being fastened solid. So, in case, you know, we have to twerk it or tweak it or... Whoa, bro, I ain't twerking nothing. Anyway. You can't take that back. You just admitted that you want to... If we have to rack it... <laughs> anyway. Um, it might be better for us to go ahead and put the roof on. I have so many thoughts that I want to say on camera right now, but I'm not. <laughs> they could probably see it in my face just, like, processing what I want to say. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, that's... Uh, well, they're almost ready to open this up. Yeah. They're rocking and rolling this highway. Uh, started putting in rock and everything else down the road, so. Probably shifting this over here next month. Yeah. So, like I said, we were going to. I got to figure out exactly how many sheets we're going to need, which we were talking about that earlier. And then I got to price it out and see how much that's going to be. I get, I get paid this week. We get paid once a month from YouTube on the 21st, I think, each month. I figured total. 
just for the main portion of the house is uh, probably about 27, 27, 28 sheets. For the walls, we ordered, uh, I think I got 25, 25 of them. That's probably enough for the wall, hopefully. Yeah. I got that covered up real good with the tarp so all this rain shouldn't mess it up. And then uh, I just it. need to go in and cut the rafter tails. Um, I mean, the the we choices were... come across over his bedroom and stuff, they, they stick up. You have to cut them off um, and put blocks. You don't have to, but where the bird mouth is on the two by sixes, I put a two by six in there far enough back that it would seal that completely off. I don't think I showed, actually, I think you could see that on camera, part of it, uh, when you were cutting all the raptors right. off. It just strength, strengthens the connection. You know, holds them together better, and that's. God, look at all these trucks they got here. They got about a dozen. A lot of gravel. That's what you need. A truck or two of that to dump in here. Shit. Eighteen wheeler. I was looking on a Facebook Market last night. I mean, a lot of the locals here that have smaller dump trucks, they want to charge like for a limestone for five yards of it. I think they were wanting like almost five hundred bucks. I needed a. It's crazy. I've had what? I've had one load of the. Milling the, that was about 800 bucks. The reclaim milling that was 22 yards. That was an 18 wheeler load down. And then you put in probably well, I know I put in at least a probably a five yard thing of uh, pea gravel. Do we need anything from, yeah. from over here at Ricardo? Mm, no, uh, yeah. So, what we're thinking this is his idea, so hopefully it'll work. I'm gonna try to do this before we get rock. Uh, get a you said it was like a sand. Yeah, mortar it's, mix it's type. a sand mortar. It's like for pavers. You spread over pavers and water it down, and it hardens. I told him just get him a few bags of that and just spread it all over. Get the tractor and run it back and forth, and then at least it'll harden it up. Let it, should. it you know get wet or wet it down and see how it hardens. Now, when it does harden and I'm driving on it, it's gonna crack. I'm yeah, sure. it's not like solid it's, cement, but it makes it more like pavement. Yeah, so I don't yeah. mind if it cracks at all. That'd just be a cheap way to be able to fix this, hopefully. So, and if it doesn't, then you'll have to get your rock. Like I said, I'll probably get about five or six bags of that stuff. You know that, or when those people come around and pave all the driveways. Yeah, but I don't know how much they charge for that. Because I, I, I actually thought about that. I saw that on Facebook Market too. Uh, there's been a few of them, like down the road from us, about berries and the other. Yeah, they do a good job. I've seen the. It sailed up well. I'm surprised. I'm just curious. Do they uh, just spray it right over your rock? And... No, they came in and put an actual layer of oh. right. stuff on there, pavement. So I know in when I lived in Terrell, uh, Tom had somebody. There was somebody out there that was getting their driveway done, and they had some extra that spray. So they just sprayed on, but it didn't. It was like it's they just, just sprayed like it over. The, yeah, they just sprayed yeah. it on top, and it didn't last very long. No, it's just it's kind of like a tar, heavy tar oil that's sprayed on it. But I'll definitely try this uh, mortar mix and see now, if that that's works. what I put like when I do the pavers in the yard. I put that stuff over there. The one I sprinkled it down, it, they stay in there. And I've said it several times on videos. Uh, it's only muddy just on the surface. Like there's probably about two inches of mud that sinks in and then it's that road base down below it's just that that mud is a, it's a mess out there and I gotta well, try to do something with it when they moved all the pea gravel out when they replaced our pool a it had pool. a lot of dirt mix in it and it's washed out a lot but because when it rains real hard you can see it looks you can see the pea gravel on the top and don't get me wrong when it's when it's not raining that is hard as a rock out there it's like a road surface it's that's what I'm saying. Maybe with this mix, if you use the tractor, just kind of spread it a little bit you know, into the rock. Because I'll do that. I'll clean out the, uh, for the most part, the carport area too. And sprinkle in there, move Matt's vehicle up, spray or put it in there too, and yeah. try that. So I'll probably do that later this week. I'll do a basically a, a DIY and see if it actually works between that and my grass killer that I got back here. I mean, I think that it will because, like I said, it holds those stones. I don't see why it's pretty good. You know. It's just kind of some kind of masonry sand mix. It's you know, it's worth trying it for the the price. Like I right. said, uh, I'll probably spend maybe fifty bucks total. I don't even know how much it is a bag. Six bucks, seven bucks a bag. Like I said, just scatter it out real good and scrape it in. That way to wrap around all the gravel and maybe 
you to get hard. Well, my uh, can of lilies, because that's what they are. Uh, that little person said I. It was it's like irises. Irises. Like, no, they could have iris. been. They might have. Yeah, there might be a, a, a family of iris. But I was given those by Ed, uh, the can of lilies, and I showed the yellow ones on video. I showed the red ones, and they were starting to bloom out, but the. The red one shot out a whole big flower since I filmed that, so it's like that big yellow one. So it's pretty cool looking. But, yeah, that's that's about it. That's all I got in my tank today. You got tank, not taint. Ah. I wanted to clear that up. I said tank. That's all I got in my tank. My tank is empty. So no. I got a lot of chicken to eat. Forgot about that. I smelt it this morning. Oh. Y'all want some? I put it in my microwave last night. Yes, I have a microwave in my tent. I didn't no have any. Can get on it. Yeah, and I didn't have room in my mini fridge for all it because I got a bunch of water and stuff in there. So maybe bump that thing on in a few seconds and bring it on over. Good. I mean, I woke up this morning and uh, made my coffee, and I was like, man, it smells good in here. I could just smell that that barbecue. So uh, I'll be eating on that unless y'all want some today. So I was thinking maybe a the color of last week's house. See the top of it. See that brown? Well, it's a uh, kind of a almost a taupe color. Now I like a grayish. A girl I went to school with. She was a couple of years behind me. Uh, Brady Hickey. She's, oh, her house. She's the white Luke, one. Luke now married, but yeah. she has a house up here that the white one. That looks really nice. It's probably a, like a dream house for most people. A little farmhouse on out in a field she, area. She but, loves horses and stuff, so she raises horses. But they uh. It's a white farmhouse look with a silver roof, and I mean, it looks it looks good. I was kind of thinking, I was like, what I want that light of a roof, like it looks good, but I think I want one that's just a little bit darker. But yeah, their house is just it looks good. So I don't know. Like I said, I'm still thinking of maybe a slate color or something like that. And then, maybe or, we'll do it. Like people know. said if you don't put a blue roof for the laser. You know, that directed energy thing that they're talking about, like in Hawaii, and oh, they're saying, you know, I that call. everything with the blue roof didn't burn. Well, you know, I ain't putting a blue roof on mine. What I was saying was, put a mirror up there, that way it'll shoot the laser back. That'd be funny. Let it bounce back out. That was what the theory is, the theory you're talking about. Yeah. But, yeah, I think that should be the end of the rain today, hopefully. Yeah, it looks uh, like it's clearing off to this southwest. Like I said, it's like a 90% chance on Thursday, so we'll try to get some stuff done today and tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, I got to. Uh, what's we're going to do some Wednesday. stuff today. Oh, you have a dentist yeah, appointment? I got to go get my tooth fixed. Actually, I'll have my. Uh, the real one put it. Well, the real. The implant, implant. came in, so. So I'm going to go have that put in. It is. Matt driving you or y'all just going to go? I don't know. You may have to take this. I thought that Matt. door was open on that thing at first. It's a ladder on the side of that. Matt may take this out. If he's not working. But yeah, we're going to go in. Uh, we're going to fix up some stuff in the goat pen today. We're redoing part of the fence. Yeah. It was just have to pick up some wire. chain link fence. You got, when you had Rusty, the big yeah, ass goat. When he had that big goat, he would just... <laughs> he weighed like 200 pounds, 250 pounds, and he would just lean against it. And his big old horns were about that long, and he uh, But we're going to fix that. Repair the gates on it. And then uh, we've got some stuff we got to fix for some plumbing and yeah. some electrical stuff, too. So, anyways, we're going to try to get that done. The goat pen's not all muddy like it is in my place. You don't sink everywhere, so. Well, it's pretty wet. <laughs> it is, but it, at least it's packed down enough yeah. there. So, we'll try to get this done today. See what else we can get into. So I'm ready to end the video. Are you? Mm -hmm. Or even ready to do a video in the first place? Yeah. But neither was I. But hey, just we're remind here. me of the chicken. Oh, I already forgot about that. See. So, anyways, we're gonna eat some barbecue chicken. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll catch you. We will catch you on the next one. Who's seeing?